broken the toast, thoughts of a stoner tube, and it looked like they caught your ass on the airplane. How about that? Now, if you don't know Danielle Bregoli, she's the Catch Me Outside girl, got famous for, you know, bucking on the hoes in the audience at the Dr. Phil show. So, you know, she got the bad girl attitude. She got the bad girl image that she's living up to, which I don't understand how she's living up to this shit, dog, because to be real, the bitch is really about like 87 pounds, nigga, soaking wet, like... Who the fuck is she scaring, nigga? Like, her little sister or something? Other little white girls? Like, bitch, who are you trying to intimidate? Because everybody else is looking at you as a joke. And we're laughing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you did some really memeable shit. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. It's funny to us. But ain't nobody scared of you, bitch. You not Gucci. You ain't goo or nothing like that. Like, bitch, you're not threatening. You know what I'm saying? That's what I don't understand. You're not threatening nobody. So, apparently, she thinks she is tough as fuck because TMZ's reporting. And there's video footage, all right? Now, it's um it's been reported that she got into an altercation or a fight while she was boarding a Spirit Airlines airplane, which is the cheapest kind, dog. So anyway, okay. She was leaving out of LAX, boarding an airplane. Bergoli and her mother were boarding a Spirit Airlines flight on Monday when her mother got into an argument with another female passenger. Sources revealed that Bergoli's mother was struggling to put her bag into the overhead compartment due to her injured foot. The other passenger allegedly grew tired of the wait time. Bergoli then claims that the woman allegedly put her hand around her mother's throat. So instead of telling her to catch her outside, she had to cold cock the woman right on the plane. The woman then made a citizen's arrest before all three of them were removed from the aircraft. So it looks like they all stuck in LA right now. Now, if you can't handle being famous, bitch, then don't fucking do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't bathe and bask in the fame that you're getting. You know what I'm saying? Ignore that shit and it'll go away. If you can't handle this shit, like, see, like, it's the price of fame, dog. I don't understand why people want to be famous. Then when they do get famous, they jump at all these other, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers who, who would love to be in your place. That's all they want to do is just knock you off of your pivot, take your spot. You know what I'm saying? They tr in the hood, niggas say, don't let a nigga trick you off the streets. It's the same thing. It's the same type of mentality. When you famous, don't let a motherfucker trick you out your goddamn fame. Don't let a nigga trick you out your blessings, okay? And I understand you want to be tough. You tough guy, tough girl, catch you outside, cash you outside, whatever. Listen, you're not a thug, all right? No one's scared of you, okay? So just get on your fucking Spirit Airlines flight, save your money, and just take the flight back to wherever the fuck you're going because it's like you, like now, now you're stuck. Now you're in LAX still, and this is like, what the fuck? You probably gonna miss your flight. You gonna miss, because I know you probably got, you know, Book for a club or something like that. Because you, I mean, shit, you doing your thing. But you just missed the bag. So now you got to go get it back. And you're not at that point where you can, you know, fuck around like that. All right? Nobody is. So, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this shit, man. But I'm about to get up out of here. Fuck with me. If you like the content that I post, do me a favor. Like my video, please, man. It really helps the channel grow. Also, do me a favor. Press subscribe and that bell beside. So you get notified when I upload next time. And I'm gone.